Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing really well. It's time for another shower gel review. Today we're taking a look at this bad boy right here, Versace Pour Homme Dylan Blue. This one I picked up from Fragrance Net. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick this up if you want to as well. And sometimes you can actually find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So if you have one of those local and you go shopping in those very often, take a look at the men's fragrance section, soap section, shower gel section, you might find this. In this video, we're gonna do the usual. I'm gonna break down how this one smells, how it feels on the skin, all that good stuff. So let's jump into it. First off, I guess, let me go ahead and show you how this one comes. Now, this is the five ounce presentation. They also have an 8.4 ounce, I think it's 8.4 ounces, that looks more like this. So it looks more like the actual bottle shape. It looks a lot better, to be frank with you, but in terms of cost versus how much you get, it's actually a worse deal on FragranceNet. So like I said, the eight ounce or the 8.4 ounce does look a lot better. So it's gonna look higher quality in your shower if that matters to you, but it runs about 30 bucks. So it looks like this actually, it runs about 30 bucks after discount. Whereas this one, which is five ounces, about three ounces less than the other one is $15. So you can get two of these and get 10 ounces, but they're not gonna look as cool. Or you can get the 8.4 ounce and spend twice as much as this one costs. So here it is, it's just a, a tube. <laughs> and you're gonna notice this right here. It's like sticker residue. That's from FragranceNet. They slapped a sticker right on the middle. I tried to peel it off and then like wipe it off. And in actuality, I just ended up wiping off a lot of uh, where it says Dylan Blue. So yeah, that didn't work out. Then on the back, another sticker and it says for adults only. So children cannot use this shower gel. Yeah, there it is in all of its glory. Normally you would find something like this packaged with the fragrance in a gift set and maybe a, a nice deodorant or something like that, but you can find these pretty easily by themselves. Versace Dylan Blue, the fragrance is enormously popular. That's why I decided to get this and see if it really stacks up and smells the same as the fragrance. Dylan Blue, the fragrance, really affordable from discounters, highly versatile, People love it in general, and you can wear it pretty much anywhere. In the opening, it's got bergamot, grapefruit, fig leaf, and watery notes. So you get this nice citrus with that aquatic feel. Very, very pleasing. As it dries down, it's got incense in there. It's got ambroxan. That little bit of smokiness from the incense makes it where you can potentially pull this off in fall or winter. And obviously, with this being a fresh blue type fragrance, easy to wear this in spring and summer too. And like I mentioned before, the price on it is really good from discounters. So this one, enormously popular. The shower gel, how does this one shape up? How does it fit in? Well, this is going to really blow your mind. And I mean, this is some next level big brain stuff. So prepare yourself. Versace Pour Homme. Dylan Blue shower gel smells, now get this, it smells like if you took Versace Pour Homme Dylan Blue and turned it into a shower gel. Yes. I know that's not really all that helpful, but I'll explain. So basically, this does smell like Dylan Blue but it smells like Dylan Blue if you remove any of the denser facets of Versace Dylan Blue. So the incense, for example, it has been yeeted out of here. There is no incense in here, goodbye. Any facet of earth from patchouli, gone, goodbye. This is basically Dylan Blue scrubbed up and cleaned up. It is very sweet. Uh, there's sweet citrus there in the opening, especially the bergamot. You do get a little bit of that fig leaf, kind of a green sort of fig leaf. You get that in the shower gel as well. Now, while there is that fig leaf, that little bit of green, it's not what I would call a realistic smelling fig leaf. Again, it's a little bit on the sweeter side of things, kind of melding with that citrus. So yeah, this is basically taking Dylan Blue and making it cleaner and a little bit fresher as well. So you've got a little bit of muskiness in here. 
a clean white musk. You do have a little bit of ambroxan in the sense of just a fresh, modern woodiness. So really you could just say clean woods. I don't know that I would necessarily say it has an aquatic feel other than the sense that you are using it in the shower. So, you know, that watery kind of nature just is par for the course, really. And then that bergamot and fig leaf. It does leave a residual scent on your skin, pretty light, and it does smell like Dylan Blue. It gives you the remembrance of Dylan Blue. But like I said before, minus some notes and with other ones a little bit more accentuated. Once you get out of the shower and towel off though, that little bit of Dylan Blue that's on your skin, it is warmer than it's going to smell in the shower and uh, that's really to be expected. So you're not gonna have so much of that, you know, fresh kind of sweet citrus once you get out of the shower. It's more so at that point going to be like this little bit of white musky and broxony Dylan Blue smell. As far as the consistency of the shower gel itself, it's normal. So I did Creed Green Hours Tweed shower gel not that long ago, and that's really watery. So that shower gel basically just shoots out like liquid when you squeeze it. This one is more of a standard gel consistency. Foams up really nicely in the shower. I use a loofah with this one. You could use a uh, washcloth if you wanted to. Rinses off clean. It's not really moisturizing, but it's not really drying either. It's just kind of neutral. And the quality here is not at all close to the Creed Green Hours Tweed Shower Gel, but it is higher than most of what you would find at places like Walmart or Target. I think if you were getting one of these to put in your shower and use regularly, uh, I'd probably go with the other one that looks more like the bottle just because it looks a little bit nicer. It looks a little higher end, I guess than this one does, especially with the sticker residue on the front. But this one for the price, 15 bucks, you know, not really cheap, but if you like Dylan Blue or fragrances like Dylan Blue and you wanna treat yourself in the shower, it's not too bad. And like I said, sometimes you can find this at TJ Maxx for even less. So if you find it at TJ Maxx, you know, five, six, seven bucks, something like that, that's a pretty good deal. So there we go. Versace Perome Dylan Blue Shower Gel. It's solid, it's pretty much exactly what you would expect it to be. You're not gonna find any surprises with this one. It is Dylan Blue Shower Gel. Yeah, it's a shower gel fragrance. Well, some people would say Dylan Blue is a shower gel fragrance turned into literal shower gel. And in case anybody's wondering, my wife, yeah, she actually loves the way that this one smells. So when I use this one in the shower, she gives it a big, big, big thumbs up. She wanted me to relay that information. So if that's important to you, how your shower gel smells in the shower to your significant other, uh, she gives it a thumbs up. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. If you've smelled that shower gel or any other fragrance shower gel, I guess, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.